Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I am the Horror Show host. And I have some news and I have a video to do for you guys. Actually, I have 12 that I owe you at least. So I won't be able to do all the Friday the 13th movies this month, but I will plan to do them early November as part of a Shocktober after party or something. So I thought... Why not give you something out of this franchise that hasn't been done before or so I haven't seen on YouTube? I've seen plenty of trailer reactions to the older movies, but I haven't seen a ranking for, the, for all the trailers. So, I thought, why the heck not? Let's give it a shot. This is my opinion. It will possibly contain spoilers. Not much, but... This is a franchise a lot of people have seen, so I just wanted to give it a light a spoiler warning. And let's begin. Number 12. Friday the 13th Part 2. This, this is one of the best Friday the 13th movies, but it has the worst trailer. Right from the get-go, it gives us raw info. It says 12 of Alice's friends died in the first, when the body count, not including Mrs. Voorhees, was only 9. And only six of them, Alice got to know. There's also some odd editing, and counting from 14 onward is a bit ridiculous. Why would you do that? I, I just... It's a weird trailer, if I'm gonna be honest. Number 11 is Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. It starts off solid like the movie. But then it gets choppy with some random clips showing Jason just staring at the camera. It does give some of the story to us, but it also nearly spoils the ending. I do love the final shot of the trailer where Jason pops up, though. It's a nice twist to what the ending actually is. Number 10. Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. This is more so a teaser trailer, but it does kind of sell you what you'll get later in the film. I do think the build up with just the relaxing jazz music does go on for a bit too long, but it does make the payoff all the more rewarding. Number 9 Friday the 13th, Part 6 Jason Lives. It's another teaser, but I feel that's all it needed to be. It's very atmospheric with the bell ding and a moody, rainy setting, it really amplifies its atmosphere. It doesn't even show you the title of the movie. It knows you know what's coming. Number 8. Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Epic is the best word to describe this trailer. Even though there isn't much footage from the film, it still manages to excite you with the bombastic choir music. It would have got my butt in the seat had I not been born the year this movie came out. If I was born 1980, maybe, but I was born 1993. Number 7. Friday the 13th, the 1980 original. It has a good mystery to it, but does have a slower pace. Plus, it gives away too many of the surprises. Not the payoff, just to the scenes that lead up to the payoff. I love the voiceover and the count to 12 before reaching 13 it is awesome. I'd still skip watching it if you haven't seen the original, though. It makes for a fun after-watch viewing. Number 6, Jason X. This is an early 2000s horror trailer, if I've ever seen one. You think it can't go any further with its intense editing and cool visuals, but then the song, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor by Drowning Pool, starts playing, and that's where all bets are off. This trailer is awesome in that it shows you what the film is, a wild time. I do wish they didn't spoil Uber Jason, though. Number 5. Freddy vs. Jason. It's not as of its time like Jason X is. It really tries to amp up the fear and anticipation that the audience must have felt while waiting for so long to see this movie. It's a solid trailer, and is one I remember frequenting a lot around the time of its release. I didn't get to see it until much later, but 
It's just awesome. Number 4. Friday the 13th Part 3. It starts off peaceful, and then the tension builds up. This trailer has much better editing than the first two. It's more coherent, plus there's not much in the way of spoilers. The sound design is good too, like with the creaking of a door and the soundtrack itself. I do think they say the title too much though. Number 3. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. It starts off the way the movie does, with a helicopter over the crime scene from part 3. However, the rest of the trailer does trade eeriness for suspense, and the tension is definitely taut. It's a shorter trailer, but it does get to the point across without having to repeat the title like part 3 or the counting from the first three trailers. It's original in its own right. It perfectly suits the style of the film you're going to get. Brutal, sharp, and to the point. Number 2. Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. Definitely the best of the 80s trailers. It's got all the energy, ferocity, and tension that makes the previous six trailers so well constructed, and it's all rolled up into one. From the bell dings at the start of the trailer, to the after credit scene that leaves the audience chuckle from relief of tension. It makes the match you never knew you wanted to seem all the more needed. It could pass for a trailer made today. And my favorite Friday the 13th trailer is... Friday the 13th, 2009. It starts off foreboding like the teaser for this movie, but then it jumps into fun. It then amplifies the tension and terror, and by the climax it's doing the counting like the first three trailers. One. 13. It's a love letter to the other trailers. It's like it combined everything good about the previous ones and brought to us the ultimate Friday the 13th trailer. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I really had a lot of fun making this list. I remember watching like the first 10 when the video detective was the only place you could actually watch movie trailers. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I am Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, where even a dollar a month will help keep this channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it, plus you get access to body counts and other music videos that you can't get on YouTube because of copyright and age restriction. Also, hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. And as always, subscribe.